Hi Pisces, my name is Sansi, and we're going to do a mid-month love reading. I'm just going to pull one card out of the love tarot and a when and how, you know, yes or no when and how card. So you'll get three cards and it's just going to be a quick review because it's just quick little messages, you know, but it gives you a good reference on kind of the feeling of your relationship right now okay and also the energies can be fluid so this card that i pull might be how you're feeling about them or it could be how they feel about you okay so just and that's for all tarot um and for all readers so it doesn't necessarily mean you sometimes It'll be someone else in your life. It could even be a coworker. So just pay attention uh, when you are watching readings and uh, and apply it to your own life, right? So okay, this will be for Pisces, month of June. Pisces, month of June. These cards are so slippery. I mean, so slippery. Oh. Oh. Lord. Okay, just let me. Sorry. Let me do this again. I'm having a hard time holding on to them. But I like to shuffle them this way. Because I like to keep them all upright. You know, they would turn upside down then that really means something to me and they will turn in the deck if they need to if it's something more serious or something so i just like to do it this way but it's very difficult with these cards Okay, I do this differently than any of the other tarot readers I've ever seen, which I usually, I just watch it for uh, Virgo, because I'm a Virgo, and I don't watch any of the others, but unless something's going on with a loved one or something like that. So anyway, my process is that I'm going to touch every, every card first. Then when I go back through, I'll ask Spirit to show me where in the deck then they'll, I'll immediately get a hit. It's in the bottom, middle, or top. When I get close to that point, they'll say stop. I'll it'll get stop, like in bold letters, or I'll get a one, three, five, whatever, however many more cards they want me to go, okay? Okay, this will be for Pisces. Love card, month of June, thank you, Spirit. Show me where in the deck, Spirit. Thank you for Pisces, month of June. Getting close. I'll give you a second to read it, and then I'll read it to you. It says, run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. <laughs> At first, I took that wrong, like run away from the relationship. But no, run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Well, how good is that? Somebody's wanting alone time with you. That's amazing. Okay. Let's pick a when and how. And yes and no. Well, that's really good. Very romantic. Okay. 
You'll have to let me know in the comments if you're going to run away. It doesn't have to be Hawaii. It could just be like a stay -kay, you know, stay vacation. You could just go to a hotel or, or go somewhere close by. Okay, this will be for Pisces, month of June. Yeah. Anyway, I think romance is in store for you, which is awesome, right? Okay, same process. Pisces, month of June. Take the spirit. Show me where spirit in the deck for Pisces month of June. Thank you. Show me where. It's up here. Ooh, I think this is going to be it right here. Okay, let me go ahead and pull the other card. See this, and then we'll you know read them together. Pisces, month of June. Back up our love reading, our love card. Pisces, month of June. Show me where in the spirit, in the dead spirit. Thank you very much for Pisces, month of June. The middle. Right there. Okay, I'll give you a second to read it. says, this sticky situation will require gradual transformation and radical views. Perfection is always ever-changing. Incidents that refract consciousness and perception gently guide you toward a grandiose future. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's really good. Okay, and you got no, so it'll be the bottom one. Give you a second to read it. Grandiose future. Wow. A good time for rest and reflection. It lasts for as long as 9 to 12 months. Look at the situation from the outside. If you realistically access your options and make a decision unexpected for everyone, you'll manage to stabilize the situation within 2 to 3 months in a sophisticated manner. Well, a good time for rest and reflection standing out to me. But anyway, I think this um, romance is going to last a good nine months to a year. So that's awesome, right? That's really great. That's really great. I'm happy for you, Pisces. Very happy for you. Okay, guys. 
I would so appreciate a thumbs up, a share, you know, whatever you can do. I would really appreciate it. And please let me know in the comments if you're going to uh, run away or have a little vacation. I would be curious to know. All right. And much happiness. And I'm, I'm very happy for you. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.